What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, we went through the Jagged Pass, took care of business, you know, beat a few trainers, went back in there again with an, acro an acrobike, and, uh, well, now we're in Lava Ridge Town, and, uh, well, there's a few things that you could do right here. Now, this is home to the Hot Springs, and I don't know if it actually heals your Pokemon or anything like that, but, yeah, this lady right here... She's talking about Moo Moo Milk. It's great before entering a hot spring. Even it'd be, be better afterwards. How about some? So she'll actually sell you some... Oh, crud. Yeah, I don't have that much money right now. <laughs> yeah, she'll sell you some Moo Moo Milk. You guys are trying to find. And uh, what does this guy do? How disappointing. Traveled all the way from Kalos, dreaming of the hot springs over there. Come to find out... Or come to, uh, to find that they are a Pokemon for Pokemon only. Sigh. It can't be helped. It seems that there are hot springs in the gym, too, so I could give them a try. Now, Kalos is another place that we will be visiting. <laughs> but, yeah, well, later along in our future right here. Who knows? I might even be doing a, uh, a walkthrough right now, undercover and all that stuff. So, here we are in the hot springs, and, uh... Holy crud, what... Okay, what... Yeah, what's this supposed to do? Don't know. Comment down below if there's any importance to this whole thing right here, or is it just the same thing as always? Now, let's go right ahead and do this first. I'm going to go into the PC, and I'm going to deposit a Pokemon right here, because, uh, believe it or not, you can actually get a Pokemon, or a Pokemon egg, and, uh, well, we got to get it before we start battling another Pokemon trainer right here. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this lady right here, and she's like, I have an egg here. I'd hope to hatch it, covering it in the uh, hot sand by the hot springs. But it doesn't seem to be enough. I've heard it, it would be best if they were kept together with Pokemon and it cared about. You are a trainer, yes? And your Pokemon ra radiate vitality. So, what say you? Will you take this e egg to hatch? Yes, ma'am, I will. So there it is, guys. We get ourselves a new egg. And we already know what it is. I don't think I I don't think I hatched it in the, in the Emerald. I don't even think so. Now, let's see, the draw, yada, 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 is it a magical, volcanoes, veins under the water, yada, yada, yada. He doesn't give us anything, and then, uh, what does this guy do? I was buried in the hot sand, enjoying the heavenly warmth of a sand bath. I was uh, just thinking I could uh, really get used to this, when a Pokemon went and nipped me in the backside. Yeah! So, technically speaking, he got poked in the ass. Or nipped. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go back and put that Poke Egg back in there. And, uh, let's give that a little bit of a... Yeah, let's give that back right there. Now, let's go right ahead and bring back our Pokemon that we didn't use, or that we took back. And that happens to be our good old buddy, uh, Numo right here. Vesuvius. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and get out of here. And, uh, yeah, this episode... We will be battling uh, our good old girlfriend, Flannery. Oh man, she is such, she is such a view. She is a beauty. Now, let's see. Pokemon Herb Shop, better, bitter taste, better cure. Yes, this place right here, you'll actually buy yourself some, uh, some herbs. And uh, let's see, very cheap. The only problem is that your Pokemon will stop liking you. Like their life for you will go down. And, uh, yeah, that, like, it, it will heal your Pokemon, but it will all go down now. If you talk to this guy right here, I heard an egg was found when, uh, two Pokemon were left in a daycare. That's great. I'm envious. I wish I could lay an egg. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's kind of like birthing or something like that. I don't even know. Okay, so here we are. The next destination right here in, uh, in, uh in Lava Ridge Town, and uh, it happens to be our girlfriend, Flannery, so let's go right ahead and uh, pay her a nice visit right here. Okay, so as you can see, look at that. It's all wet, steamy, and all that crud. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Yo, how is it going, champ to be Draven? Lava Ridge gym, uh, gym leader Flannery uses fire-type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger than hotter than any volcano. Don't get too close to her, or you might get burned. Hose her down. With water and go for it. I'll do more than just hose her down. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, I'm not gonna even going to speak about that. So let's go right downstairs. And uh, yeah, go through, go through that area right there. Now you will be finding some Pokemon trainers around here. Be careful. Just be careful. Now, let's see. I don't have 
water type attacks just yet, but I do have Gaia the Fierce Knight and a few other Pokemon that we can use. And, uh, well, let's see, where are the Bubblies? There should be Pokemon trainers around here. Nah, not right here. So we're gonna go towards the left side and, uh, look at that. Okay, so where the hell? Okay, so this is the wrong side right here. Okay, so we're going down right here. And uh, let's go right back to the area. Look at that. Look at that. And there is our next opponent right now. So let's go and take care of business. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, it's hot. Okay, it's hot. Okay, so here we go. Kindler Cole would like to battle, and he's coming out with his very own Numo. Oh, he'd like to use Numo a lot. So let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Look at that. It's ballerina. Ballerina time and all that crud. And uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use that Confusion attack. Let's finish this Pokemon off. Oh, yes. Confusion takes half its points, and uh, it's going to try and go ahead and use its... Uh, yeah, Amnesia attack. So let's go again. Another Confusion attack. Let's finish this guy off. Oh, crud. And yes. I guess that actually helped him. And uh, crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and not use Magical Leaf. I thought I was going to use it. There we go. Confusion attack. Nearly beats this new mold. God dang it. Just die already. Not really die, but just lose. All right, here we go. Confusion attack. Let's do this again. Confusion for the win. Does it. Suck at Numel. And look at that. Guy of the Fierce Knight gets some points. And Vesuvius grows to level 26 and is learning Earth Power. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to use that. I'm going to, let's see, Earth Power. Ooh, 90. Okay, so let's go ahead and take away Flame Burst. It really doesn't need it anymore. Okay, look at that, Earth Power. And he's gonna be coming out with a Slugma, so let's go right ahead and use Vesuvius since it is a Ground-type Pokemon and it does have some pretty good Ground-type moves. Hopefully it will evolve in this episode, right? Nah, not really. Okay, so here's that Slugma. We all know who has the uh, speed advantage, so let's go ahead and use that Earth Power attack. Look at that, Earth Power gets it and goes. Oh yes, Slugma defeated. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And look at that. Claymore growing levels just just because it can. I'm blinded by the sweat in my eyes. You should be. That's right. You should be. Okay, so that's one guy down, and I probably shouldn't be going there. Now, we're going to be going up top right here. Oh, wait. Crud. Should we? Okay, we shouldn't have... Uh, okay, so that was the wrong way. That was the way we went. So we're going back upstairs. And... Going right here. Look at that. Sinking. And uh, let's see. We're going to be using. Actually, we're going to be using a super potion right here because, uh, yeah. We don't want our Pokemon to faint, especially Guy of the Fierce Knight right here. Okay, so let's see. If you see any bubbles, if you see any bubble area right there. There's a Pokemon hiding, so or Pokemon trainer hiding, and this guy is a ninja, so he's like, I feel like my brain is melting. Let's hurry up and battle. Mm-hmm. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, Hidom Hidomichi coming out with his uh, coughing. Alrighty, alrighty. So I, I, I got the right Pokemon for the job right here, and coughing is using that Levitate, so luckily for us, we're going to be using Confusion just to destroy this guy. Oh, look at that. Confusion does it. Confusion did it. Coughing defeated. Oh, yes. And Hidimo Hidomichi has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. I think we can go right here, right? Yes, we're going upstairs. Going upstairs right here, and yes, there are going to be some Pokemon trainers waiting for us, so let's go ahead and battle this guy, the Kindler. Get over here, buddy. I'm trying to relieve my stress. Don't come along and stress me out. Eh, you'll be fine. Okay, so Kindler Axel will like to battle, and he's coming out with his Slugma, and uh, I got the right Pokemon for you. Guy of the Fierce Knight. 
Okay, alrighty, alrighty, alright, alright. And that flame body will try and burn me. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with the confusion. Why am I okay? I'm relying a little too much on that confusion attack, but it will work. And here comes Incinerate. Am I holding any items? No, I'm not. Disarming voice. Get it. Oh yes. Oh damn, it's not oh wow. Fairy types are not effective against fire types. Wow. Oh, okay, so that that right there, that's a learning experience. So let's finish this guy off with the uh, yeah, confusion. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Guy oh come on, just evolve already. <laughs> you suck. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we got another Pokemon trainer right here, but before we do anything, let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon just one more time. The mission is get Gaia to level 30, have it evolved, and then uh, battle uh, whoever's next. Mm, okay, I'll battle you. Okay, let's go. Battle Girl City is coming out with her med Meditate. Luckily for us, we do have a fairy type Pokemon right here. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, let's press this button right here. Let's press that first button. Come on! Disarming voice. What the hell? Oh, damn. It's attack rose. So here we go. Every rose has a thorn right there. And it's super effective. So let's go one more time right here with the disarming voice and. Oh, crud. It's using that meditate. Or meditate right here. So here we go. Mm, disarming voice does it again alrighty 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 and uh, look at that Gaia finally learns or goes to level 30 and it's finally learning a better move psychic attack let's go right ahead and take away confusion right here yeah look at that okay alrighty and uh, let's see let's see anybody else nope Sadie has been defeated he's like oh but you're too strong yes I am baby and after all that work, finally, Gaia the Fierce Knight is finally evolving and it's to its final form. Now, mind you, I do have Gaia number two in the storage. And I'm planning on actually training up all my Pokemon by the time we defeat our daddy. Yeah, the fifth batch. And right there, I'm just going to be capturing Pokemon left and right. Getting money, buying things, stocking up because after you win the fifth batch, that's when you should get serious right there. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon right here. Gaia the Fierce Knight, fully evolved into Gardevoir. And it's both a Psychic and Fairy-type Pokemon right here. Its best move, or its best uh, stat, is, is Special Attack. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Well, what else does it have? Well, I could use it for for the, for the, like, the, the contests and all that stuff. But I don't really think I could do that. I don't really want to go in there right now. But let's go right here. The sink down here. Got a fine. We finally got a, a fully evolved Pokemon right here. It could evolve. Well, you know what? Sage might evolve in this episode too. That's pretty awesome. But I do have Vesuvius. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get Vesuvius right here, and let's take care of business right now. Take care of the business. And there's another ninja hiding right here. He's like, ho oh, ho, you've left yourself open. With the ninjutsu, I have concealed myself in esteem. I already knew you were there, I just saw your bubbles and all that stuff, but, oh, whatever. Here we go, Soji wants the battle, and he's coming with his coughing. Alright, bring it, Soji. Here we go, Vesuvius. Alrighty, Vesuvius. Let's take care of business right here. Oh, crud. I only have Lava Plume, but it still will work right here. Lava Plume. Oh, yes. And, uh, yeah, this guy has Flamethrower, wow. Don't get me interested in a coughing because I might use coughing sometime. Here we go again. Lava Plume gets it. Say goodbye to coughing. Oh, Vesuvius, you are. You're starting to get awesome right there. And he's like, the steam it stings my eyes. Should be. Okay, so let's see. What is next? What is what is next right here? Yeah, we're gonna be going upstairs. And, well, hello there, baby. Wrong room. We gotta go the other way. 
Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where should we be going right here? Going upstairs. And let's see, let's see. Okay, I think we were already... Oh, we haven't battled this guy. Can your Pokemon withstand the heat from my Pokemon? Probably. I don't know. I really don't know. So here we go. Ace Trainer Zane would like to battle. He's coming out with Slugma. Okay, I got the right Pokemon for this guy, Vesuvius. Let's do this. Okay, so I don't really have a fully, like, I don't really have a, the full water type attack just yet, but eventually, you know, I'll be destroying everybody. I'll be wrecking everybody. Or I could have used another water type Pokemon. That's probably what I, what I should have done. Alrighty. And, uh, let's see, he's gonna be coming out with a Kecleon right here, so finally, another Pokemon. Well, let's go with Sage of the Halo right here and see if we can evolve him right now. So there we go. Sage. Eh, he's close to evolving. And Kecleon right here has a special effect. It has a... What was it called? A, what was the... A, a cloak, chameleon or something? It is a chameleon Pokemon, but look at this. Look at that. Leaf Blade. Oh, yes. And it's color change, and it turned into a grass type. Oh, yeah. Fire Punch. Nearly takes us out, but guess what? You're a grass type Pokemon now, so let's go right ahead and use Aerial Ace. Oh, yes. And say goodbye to Kecleon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And Sage of the Halo grows to level 36. This is awesome. And Claymore, of course, growing levels. Hydra number 2, level 33. Defeated Zane, the Silver Ranger, right here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Another maximum evolution right here. Sage of the Halo finally evolving. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Finally evolving. It's pretty awesome. It's very, very awesome. And this is only episode 28, 29? Look at that. A fully evolved Sceptile. Holy crap. You look majestic as hell. Oh, damn. And he's learning Dual Chop. Okay, so this is a dragon type move. Yeah, it's a dragon type move. So, let's see. I don't need Pursuit anymore. So, let's go ahead and take away that. This is going to be one strong-ass Pokemon right here. I'm so happy about this. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out our new uh, our new friend right here. Let's go right ahead and check him out. Where are we? Vesuvius and Sage. Okay, so Sage of the Halo, level seven or level 36, Sceptile. And let's see, Overgrow powers up. And as you can see, its stats went through the roof now. It is a special attacker as well as a speedy guy. So, oh yeah. I'm gonna have fun. So, wow, I got four fully evolved Pokemon. As you can see, guys, this game right here, it, like, it's so easy to to uh, to level up your Pokemon. That's why I'm saying that, like, by the time I'm done with the fifth uh, gym leader, I'm gonna be capturing a buttload of Pokemon and quite possibly be using a uh, different teammates and all that crud. So here we go. We're falling down. Ah, crud. And uh, we got another Kindler right here, so let's go right ahead and, uh, well, we're continuing on with Vesuvius right here. Alright, bring it on, buddy. You must be getting tired by now. You like a uh, rest in a hot bath, eh? But you should know that maintaining your willpower is an important ability for all trainers. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. You are challenged by Kindler Andy, and he will be coming out with his Numel. Okay. It's Numel versus Numel, and I don't think a ground versus ground type would work, right? Maybe? I don't know, but I will be going with its strengths. Technically, with strength attack, because it is a very, very good special or physical attacker. And uh, look at that. It takes a good one, and here comes that Earth Power. Crud! I should have used Earth Power. Okay, so that right there kind of messed me up. But let's go with Hydra 2. Let's get it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah, we're lowering that. We're lowering that whole thing right there. And, uh, well, we can use Ice Fang, but we can use Dragon Rage right here. I don't think this guy's uh, above level 40 or, you know, 40 HP. No, it's not. Yeah, buddy. Take care of that business right there. Look at that. Look at that. And Kindler Andy has been defeated. Alright. Okay, so, let's see. We're going up here. I think we're going down the middle right here. Let's see. Ah, oh, there she is. How you doing there, baby? 
Missed you. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Not the Ether, but let's go ahead and use a revive on this guy. And uh, let's use a super potion. And you know what? A super potion would work for my Sceptile right here. I have a freaking Sceptile, guys. I have a freaking Sceptile now. That's awesome. Okay. Let's get this. Alrighty, look at her. She's... Mm, 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 mm. She's looking like a... Mm, 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 like a nice snack right here. Okay. Oh, look at that. The montage. Look at the montage. Look at her. Look at the montage. Look at her. Welcome! Oh, damn. She seems unsure of herself. No, wait. I mean, puny trainer. You've done well to make it this far. Let me, let, let's see. Um, I'm honored to serving us the gym leader of, uh, oh, damn. She, oh, wow. I know, I, I know I'm, like, I'm, I know I'm good looking, baby, but, hey, come on. Just, just say we're battling right now. No, I mean, I'm Flannery, and I'm in charge here. Okay, alrighty. Uh, you better not underestimate me, uh, just because uh, I've only been a leader for a short time. With the skills I inherited from my grandfather, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate the hot moves we've honed in this land. Okay. Uh, hi -ya! Oh, wow, she just became a gym leader. She looks so cute just trying to act tough, man. Look at that. Just look at the sight of her. I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting on her. Okay, here we go. Gym battle number four against our girlfriend Flannery. What's up, baby? All right, so she's coming out with her slugma right here. And it, it looks tough, but I'm tougher. I am tougher than nails right here. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this. Let's go with, you know it, earth power. Here we go. Take this earth power. And that's how you do it. There we go. Slugma defeated. Okay, alrighty. And uh, look at that. Vesuvius grows to level 27. Pokemon's uh, acting like a little pimp right now. And uh, she will be coming out with her very own Numel. So right now, I'm going to do what I should have done. And that is going to use this Earth Power right here. Here we go. Eat this Earth Power. Super effective. Oh, yes. Numel is on a... Uh, Vesuvius is on a, on, a, on a roll, and here she's going to be coming out with her Torkoal. Oh, yeah. This is this this is probably her final Pokemon right now. Yes, it is. So, one more time. Earth Power for the win. Eat this. And cry. It survived. It, sur <laughs> it survived. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it's increasing its stats, but it will get healed. So, let's go with the Magnitude. And here she comes out with a Hyper Potion. Alright, baby girl, throw everything you got, including the kitchen sink. Here we go. Magnitude. And, uh, wow, it survived. So let's go with one final Earth Power attack right here. Let's get this. Bam! And there goes Sorkhole. A complete Vesuvius sweep. Wow, he, or she absolutely redeems herself and Raiden grows to level 29. Flannery has been defeated, and she's like, oh, I guess I was trying too hard. <laughs> you kind of were. You look cute doing it. I, I've only recently become a gym leader. I guess I was trying too hard to be someone I'm not. When I don't act like myself, no wonder my Pokemon that battle uh, uh, at my side get confused. Thank you for teaching me that. You deserve this. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Look at that. That looks beautiful, too. We've received the Heat Badge, and if you if you have the Heat Badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades, will obey you completely. And it lets, it lets you use this strength technique outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. We get ourselves a TM50 Overheat. Very, 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 very powerful move. Kind of sucks about, it, like, it's withdrawal and all that crud. Actually, overheat is a fire type move that inflicts serious damage on the on the target, but it also it also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. Okay, whatever you say, baby. Okay, so badass host, badass coach, number four badge. Oh wow, I was about to step in that. Wow, got four badges. Stop doing that. And uh, well, 
That's that's freaking awesome right there. Four badges in 20 some odd episodes right here. And this guy's like, yow! That was scorching hot battle! Yes, it was, buddy. Now, where's my water? I don't know. Okay, so once you step outside the gym... Well, hello, hello there. The other girlfriend's here. She's like, Draven! Wow, it's a relief to see you in one piece! Oh, well, you know, the last time I saw you right after battling those Team uh, What's-Its people. So I was a bit worried thinking about what might have happened to you after that uh, after that battle, Draven. Ah, uh, you do care. <laughs> what? You battled them again after that? And you beat them? You really are something else, Draven. I, I mean, you are... You and your team are. I'm pretty impressed by you all. And that pretty st pretty stone that's sparkling there, is it? Is, is that the meteor you got back uh, from them? Yes, I did. Oh, that's right. Here, here. I've been thinking of giving these to you. And look at that. We get ourselves the Go-Go Goggles. Or the Go-Goggles, my bad. And, uh, I put those, uh, or if you put those on, uh, or if you put on those Go-Goggles, you'll be all... All sets uh, heading into the desert, uh, Route 111. Oh, damn. Oh, and isn't that the Lava Ridge Gym Badge? So you beat Flannery, too! I guess you really are uh, you really are training your Pokemon right. Next up, we'll be challenging your dad, Norman, in the Petalburg, uh, right? Yeah, I'm headed to Petalburg's Gym right now, or Petalburg's Gym next right myself. Do you want to go back together to Petalburg? Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, you know what? What the hell? Let's go. Let's make it an adventure. Aye, aye! Let's hit the road, then. You know what? Traveling with her, it never gets boring. I'll tell you that right now. Look at that. Okay, Dad. I'm about to kick your ass. But in the next episode. Well, we made it to the Petalburg City Gym. Good luck with taking on uh, the Gym Leader Draven. Oh, look at that. Gym Leader Draven with the comment in between. I'm cheering for you. Later. Yeah, she's a keeper. She's definitely a keeper. Anywho, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on our daddy right here. And guess what? I'm bringing back an old friend of ours. He's got a few things that he wants to say to my daddy right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>